Hello viewers, today I'll be servicing an Aloha Breeze 12 inch oscillating table fan. I've already done the initial checkout video on this fan so I'm just going to get right into the repairs or, or rather the cleaning. As far as I know it, this doesn't really need any repairs, just needs some minor cleaning. We don't need this for this video. Um, so I'm going to begin to disassemble it. I'm not even going to run it. Like I said, I've already done the initial checkout. So pretty much just needs to be a little bit of cleaning and then general lubrication. This is one of the nicer style grills that just pulls off with, by uh, undoing the clips. And it looks like uh, there's a screw there. That's kind of odd. I'm assuming that's not supposed to be there, but oh, there's a bolt on the other side here. That's what they were using there. I guess that would be in place of the uh, grill clip. I almost almost have broken or something. Now this is very flexible, so I'm thinking maybe there's something wrong there. We'll check that out. So uh, here's the front guard. It's got a fair bit of dirt in there, so we'll get that cleaned. Just gonna wash it out of the bathtub. Actually, uh, gonna remove this cover here, or rather the badge, and I will wash uh, that separately. So now we have the guide, we'll throw that in the wash. Aloha Breeze, we'll throw that in the wash too, it's got a fair bit of dust on there. And that sure is eager to get cleaned. And the uh, blade is like stuck on here. Yeah, that's not too good. This is really turning into a hassle here. There we go. Had to do some hammering, but it came off. Eh, that's not too dirty. I've seen much worse than that. Okay, let's see here. What's the solution now about the screws? Piece here on the screws as well. Okay. And we have one more screw in the back. I think. Actually, now that I have this off, we can take a look at the information on here. This is a desk fan, apparently 36 watts. And looks like it's from 2003. This is probably bought in the summer of 2003. Although the uh, 
UL date code is rather different than says 02, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, made in China, ooh, China. Okay. And uh, that's kind of an odd case of yellowing. The motor looks very China, it's pretty small. Um, all right, so I think what I'm going to do here is uh, I'll get those pots washed and you know, I'll deal with that later. So I'm going to go around and uh, wash, whoops. I'll wash out these pots of course. That's the only thing I like about these old plastic fans is that they're real easy to clean. Alright, we just got the pots cleaned up, everything uh, came out good, the blade is real clean now, and the gods are good. Of course the component with the Made in China label is still a little bit dirty, so I'm going to see if I can uh, clean this off by hand maybe, um, and get some of these max off there. This is one of my favorite cleaners, Wright's Brass Polish. I use this on everything from cordless telephones to fans. And uh, this will probably take that off. So I'm going to just put some of this on here. This may or may not work depending on what that is. But we'll give it a shot. Yeah, I came through once again. That's a pretty good. So uh that's mostly gone now. So, all right. Actually, they made that uh, that portion of the thing a little bit wider. <laughs> all right. So that's uh, all right. Now all the pots are clean. Fantastic. The base has got some junk on it, so I'll wash that off now. All right. They came out pretty good. Now we'll uh, move on to the motor. She got a fair bit of dust accumulation. Okay, now that the motor has been cleaned, I'm going to oil it. I've already taken off the capacitor, so now I'm going to remove the oscillation mechanism. Come on. Now one of the problems that this fan initially had was a stiff oscillator. So I'm going to see if I can figure out why it's like that. And I think the problem is actually in this joint right here because that's a little bit on the stiff side. So I'll throw some oil in there. Um, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can clean the rear shaft a little bit because I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on the video since we're not, you know, in, in 10K here, whatever they're up to now. But there's a little bit of stuff on the sides of the shaft there. So I'm going to see if I can get that off at Earth instead. Although it's not really going to affect the performance, could potentially hinder me from being able to oil it. So I'm going to see if I can just get that stuff off of there. Not exactly sure what that is. And that did exactly what I kind of thought it would. So, okay, this is going to be interesting. I 
and I'm using the nail here so that it doesn't get pushed back into the bearing, which was what the uh, the towel was kind of doing. Okay, that looks about good. Now I can finish it off with the towel here. Okay, now that all that junk is gone, I can oil it. Oh, that wasn't even in the video? Dark, darn it. <sighs> well, what I did was I had a, a nail here, and I put it on the side, and I turned the shaft so that the, the junk would go like that on the nail and away from the bearing. Anyways, wish that footage was captured. Oh, well. Now, this actually has oil ports, um, which is very intriguing to me because this is a really cheap fan. But that right there is, in fact, an oil port. So I am going to put a couple drops of oil in there and see if they absorb in. I don't know if this has ever been oiled before, so this may not work. Um, well, let's see if this will take some oil. Yes, it's not really taking oil. So... That's a very poorly designed oil port because it doesn't actually work that well. Um, but what that, that port would do is there's a um, it's like a circular wick in here that goes around the bearing and it gets filled with oil or it's supposed to get filled with oil in China and then uh, when they send it over here to get used uh, as the bearing dries out it'll draw in more oil from that wick. Now, I can't really get the wick wet without splitting the motor, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to manually oil it like this. Simply because it's not really worth my time to split this open and, and put oil in those things. I'd rather just do this. to let that sit for a minute and then I'll do the front shaft or front bearing right or I'll screw that up and this front bearing too has an oil port although again I'm not going to bother using it it seems like it's very uh very stiff. Let's see what the spin down time is. Yeah, that's not as good as it should be for a freshly oiled bearing. Hmm. I had to split the dumb motor after all. Um, well, I'll try to reline the bearings. And if that doesn't work, then I'll have to split the motor. So what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to loosen all these. There's four screws here to hold the bearings in place. Or to hold the two motor shields in place. I'm going to loosen those screws. Not to the point where they come out but oops, just enough to, to get them loose ow okay now um, got oil all over my hands it's difficult to work when everything is slippery I'm 
loosen this just a little bit more just so we can get some play in the motor and I'm going to try to break this apart okay now it's broken apart so what I'm going to do now is we're going to reline the bearings so I take a screwdriver, preferably a rubber handle one, and just give it some smacks here. And uh, I should have gotten it going a little better. Okay, so as you can see, that's much better. Much, much better. So now I'm going to re tighten the bearings. And we're not going to go too tight, just uh, snug. And you tighten this like you would anything else that uh, involves torque. You go on the opposite side as much as you can. Try to make sure these are all of the same uh, tightness. There is a possibility that it could have uh, gone out of alignment as I just screwed these all on. Actually, there's a very good possibility that it did. So, what I will do is I will follow the same alignment procedure if necessary. Alright, so as you can see, that's um, better than it was before, and that's good. So now we can uh, continue the procedure here. And I'm looking in the oscillator mechanism, and it looks like there is some more of that unidentified brown or black stuff, whatever it is, um, probably dried up grease. So I'm going to make sure we get that out of there before I put this back on, because... I just clean that off the shaft. I don't want it going back on the shaft. Okay. Now I'm going to open this up. That was dumb. Okay. Anyways. So there is uh, grease in here. I'm not quite sure why it's so stiff. Um, hmm. There is some of that brown junk in there, but I think I'm just going to leave it because if I clean this out, and there's going to be no grease in there, and I'm going to start over again. I don't feel like doing it. So what I will do is I will uh I'm gonna take this off of here for a moment. And actually I'm gonna put this back on just like this. And uh, do I have to do it this way? Yeah, I gotta do it this way. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I will put some oil down in there. So I'm gonna remove this gear. Why is this being so ill-cooperative? There it goes. Okay, that's what I wanted. 
So now this is uh, split far enough that I can just put a little bit of oil in there. And that's what I'll do. Okay. Alright, that should be good. We'll get off the excess. And now I'll put this uh, back on. Some of my viewers are going to be upset when I see how I'm doing this. didn't work that time. Okay, it worked that time. Okay, so now this uh, is turning a little bit better than it was before. Very little resistance on there, so that should be good. Now, um, I'm going to put a drop of oil down in uh, in that hole right there where the other gear rests. I'll do two drops, and now I'll put this back on. Now this whole mechanism is turning really freely and uh, it should work better now. And if you really wanted to, you could clean up all this junk up off of here, you know, all the yellow stuff, but I don't really uh, see the value of doing that. So I'll put these screws back on. Yeah, that screw is stripped. What a surprise. Okay, now um, that's running pretty free, so I'm not going to worry about oiling that. I will, however, underscore that it's very important to make sure you don't over tighten the screw. It's also very important to make sure you put the uh, The washer thing back on here. How did this go? Did it go like this? Yeah, it went like this. Wait a minute, did it go like that? Oh dear. Ah, oh, I stinking forgot. It didn't go like that, did it? It went the other way. Yeah, it goes like this. Oh, no. That stinks. <laughs> Those of you that have ever worked on these fans before um, know exactly why I am quite irritated right now. The, uh, the ball for the oscillator mechanism just fell out. which is um, unbelievably frustrating to put back in. Well, so we have to open this once again. Oh, because it's stinking washer. Okay. So, 
Uh, oh no, the spring fell. Okay, recover the spring. So, what has to happen here? And, uh, this is ridiculous, but the way this works is those two balls have to fit inside there with the spring inside. So, what I'm going to do is, and of course these are greasy and slippery, so that's just great. Erg. Okay. Now, this doesn't look like a difficult task, but there's a lot of force on these two balls right here. And so to get them from this position into this, where they're supposed to be, is generally not very easy. Although that time, it went very well. Okay, well that was a lot less aggravating than I thought it was going to be. Fantastic. Well, now we can put this back on. And start again. Uh, is that the right way it goes? Stationary, mostly stationary. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to put these screws back in before anything else happens to this dopey thing. Alright, well, let's try that again. So, washer on top. And then the screw. Now this screw is very important, you make sure you don't do it too tight because you'll have problems. Alright, now I'm going to uh, put this back on. Of course now I'm getting oil and grease all over the thing I just cleaned, which is oh so fantastic. Alright, now I'm going to give it a test run. I typically don't do this at this point, but I just want to make sure that all cylinder is put in correctly. So I'll plug this in and test it. Well, I'll let the oscillate the full thing first and I'll turn it off. Okay, that's working. Now I just noticed that the other thing that could be stiff is this joint under here, uh, which would have been much easier to oil once or uh, before I have put it all together. I think if I undo this screw, that may release this just enough so that I can put some oil in there. Of course now I can't turn it because it's
Okay. Okay, now I'm going to turn it back on and let that oscillate for a minute. But actually, what I will do instead is I will put the blade on there and see if it's exhibiting the same problem it was exhibiting before. Hopefully, the blade doesn't fly off. I don't know if you can hear that in the video or not. But it sounds like it's running pretty consistently now. So it's not really having that issue anymore. So that's good. So I'll turn that off and uh, we'll finish putting it back together. And the spin down time is still leaving a little bit to be desired. Maybe that's just because it's an oscillation. Yeah. It's good enough. Alright. So there is one other issue I'm seeing here. That is the fact that the blade is like not going on and off the way it should. Um, so I'll put some oil in there. Hopefully that'll solve that problem. I don't know if it will or not, but that's all I'm going to do for that because it's not one of those things that's not worth fixing. Oops, I keep showing all my junk over there in the videos. Alright, so I'm going to begin to uh, reassemble it now, make sure this is all clean. I suppose a good piece of advice would be to clean the top and then go to the bottom so you don't have to do this twice, but maybe I should follow my own advice. So I'll start with this cover, and this looks like it'll be fun to align. Actually, that wasn't too bad. All right, now we'll put the uh, covers on here. This goes next. Okay, now I will uh, put the rear guards on. Well, I guess they're not plural, there's just one of them. It appears like it's still flimsy. I guess that's just how it is.
blade, which again is not going on there as properly as it should be, but oh well. Oh, dark iron, I forgot to put the whale in there. Oh well. There's a little bit of water left in here, so I'm going to just rinse that out or wipe it off rather. Put the badge back on here. Now I'm not sure if this spooky screw thing they have going on here is uh, original or not. I kind of tend to believe it's not. Um, but I just realized if I was going to use this, um, I kind of screwed this up. Wait well, on a second, so I didn't really screw it up. I just I didn't put this on so that it would be flat, you know, straight, whatever. Um, to lamp this hole here, but quite frankly, it looks fine, you know, being on a slant. So that's how it's going to remain. Is this even screwing? No, it's not. This screw is so stinking small. Okay. Close this up. And uh, just for good measure, I think I'm going to, well, that looks a bit more complicated than it should be. I'm going to take the base off just to check the wiring under there and make sure everything is okay. I'm not sure how easy this is going to be. Looks like it's more complicated than it should be. Actually, uh, okay. No, oh, that was really convenient. That screw just flew out of there and landed right on the magnet. If this doesn't come off relatively easily, I'm not going to bother with uh, doing this. And either I don't know how to do this, or it doesn't come off easily. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? There's like a little button here. Well, just as I suspected, this is more difficult than it should be. So, back on it goes. I don't think anybody messed with it at this point. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is just give the wire a quick wipe down because it's a little bit worn out. 
Okay, we are ready for the final test run. Switch off this ceiling fan. And I will uh, start off and yes, this I don't think this should be like that, but oh well it's like that. Let's see, we got a good angle on the video, we'll start off with low. And we'll go to medium. Also, there's a little noisy still. Oh well. That was a pretty good breeze. Pretty quiet on low. Okay, well, here is the uh, servicing of the Aloha Breeze Oscillating Table Fan. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.